Howdy, howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast haul. I got three boxes here. I got some really cool die casts inside and um, I'm very excited to open these. Now, something I've been wanting to do is go back and collect the Chase Elliott die cast, right? To go back and collect all the good old Chase Elliott die casts and this is an opportunity to do so. You know, the die cast releases are a little bit slow right now because of, you know, the off season, which let me tell you, man, I am so excited that Daytona is back next week. I mean, the, just to think that they're going to have cars on track next week in Florida. Just, oh, goodness, it's just got me all, it's got me all excited. Uh, I will say, though, the 24 hours of Daytona was freaking amazing, man. That was an amazing event. Sure, it wasn't uh, as, as caution-filled as uh, definitely last year. Oh, my God, man. I felt like I was watching the Weather Channel, but um, it was a really nice race, me and my uh, good buddies OBB and Race Day 2011. We were watching that event. Uh, tons of fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the first box opened. All right, folks, box is opened. Uh, let's see what's inside the box now, shall we? What's this? Ooh, check this out right here, folks. Wow. I even got a little bit of some hair or something on this thing. Wow. This is Chase Elliott's uh, Sun Energy Wine Paint Scheme from 2018. Now you might be thinking, well, Diecast Buffet. Uh, you already did a review on this. You already own this diecast. That is indeed true. I do have the 124 version of his Watkins Glen win. I have the 164 of the Watkins Glen win. I have two of those. One in the Authentics line, unopened, and I have one uh, in the Gold Series I've already opened. Uh, but the reason why I got this card, this is the playoff version. And I said it once, I'll say it again. I want to collect every uh, Chase Elliott diecast they make. And the 164 line. I'm, I'm determined to do so. Those things are starting to shoot up in price. This is considered the clean version. It's got the playoff spoiler and splitter on it. That is a cool die cast right there. All right, let's keep it going. We got a little bitty box over here. I mean, like the littlest little box you could think of. I mean, it's it's literally like a sleeve for a 164 scale die cast. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open. All right, folks. Time to open this thing, and uh, what the heck is in here? Oh my goodness, what is this? It's got a Chase Elliott die cast. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this what I think? Is this the, is this this 2015? Oh snap, it is. Chase Elliott, 2015 nationwide. Nope, Xfinity Camaro. A lot of people probably forgot about this paint scheme, but Chase Elliott did run a full season of Xfinity competition. Um, after 2014, they rebranded as the Xfinity Series with, you know, Nationwide stepping away to sponsor Dale and Hart Jr. in 2015 because National Guard left as a primary sponsor on the 88. So, uh, with them moving over to a, kind of like what Monster Energy did this year when they moved over from being a title sponsor plus sponsoring Kurt Busch, uh, they just went back to being a normal sponsor of Kurt Busch instead of a title sponsor. But... This is Chase Elliott's 2015 car. Um, he did not win the championship in 2015, uh, but I have the 2014. And if you haven't seen that review already on the 2014, I'll have a link to that in the description below. Uh, but man, this is a really cool die cast, man. This is the 2015 die cast, and you can kind of just compare this a little bit. And it's pretty cool, man, to think that my man Chase Elliott, man, after winning his first race at Texas Motor Speedway in 2014, man, he's... I, I, look, I cannot wait for this 2020 season as a Chase Elliott fan because let me tell you, man, I'm so excited. I hope he wins the 500. If he can't, I hope he wins the 600. You know, Chase Elliott has yet to win a crown jewel race. And I think this year could be it. I think he could finally find victory lane in one of the crown jewels that the Toyotas have been dominating. You know, the 600, the Southern 500. Um, Daytona 500, Pepsi 400, I still consider that, a, I mean, if it was a July race, I would consider that a Crown Jewel-esque race, but since it's moved, I don't consider that anymore, so I have to scratch that. Uh, the Brickyard, though, I still consider that a Crown Jewel event, but yeah, that's gonna be a cool diecast and review. It looks a little bit different, uh, than the 2014, so, hey, I got both of his, uh, Napa Auto Parts, Nationwide, and Xfinity Camaros. 
All right, folks. Well, we got one more box to open. One more box. And go ahead and take a guess what's in this box. I will say, though, it's a NASCAR Authentics die cast. And you might be uh, thinking, well, why would you get a NASCAR Authentics die cast? Well, I, I got a good reason, and I'll explain a little bit later in the video. But I've got this little bitty box here. I mean, it, it's so little, you could only fit, like, I don't know, 20 of these in there. But pff, I ain't got the money for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get it open, folks. All right. Well, we got some uh, some basketball newspaper. That's cool. Uh, what is in here? Oh, it's in a bag. Okay. Huh. So they legitimately put this in a Walmart bag. Whoa. Check this out. Kyle Larson's 2019 unraced special promo whatever you want to call it look i've already reviewed this diecast i'll have a link to that in the description below um i wanted this car mint and here's the reason why this is going to be a diecast that years from now people are going to want i'm sorry look kyle larson fans are going to want this diecast one day and look i don't collect to read to like to sell for a profit i don't do that because it's really hard to do that. It's really hard to collect die casts to just sell. I'm sorry. It it, it takes uh, it takes a tremendous amount of time. I'm just I'm just not in that, right? I wanted this for my own personal collection. I have uh, the NASCAR Drive Cup Series race the version of this. Of course, if you haven't seen that race, uh, it's the Atlanta one. I'll have a link to that down below, uh, the Drive Cup Series. But also, I have uh, the just the normal version I have in my uh, my my die cast case. So I had, this is the third uh, die cast of this paint scheme, and I had to get it, man. I had to get it. This one's not going to be opened. I already reviewed it. Like I said, link in the description below. Uh, but this one's going to go in my personal collection. I'm hoping I can find the Kurt Busch one as well uh, because, you know, Ganassi and their special paint schemes. But, yeah, I'm hoping I can find a Kurt Busch one as well because this is going in the private collection. This is not going anywhere. Um, you know, I try not to buy these just to keep, you know, some of these. I try to I try to limit those to Chase Elliott stuff, but would this be one of the best paint schemes I've ever seen on a Gen 6? And it being the only way you can get this die cast, this thing's gonna dry up. I'm telling you, when it does, you're gonna wish you had it. And uh, man, what a cool die cast, folks. All right, folks. So here is today's haul. Uh, we got a 2015 Chase Elliott Xfinity, not Nationwide Camaro. We got the 2019, I don't know what you'd call it, special promo, unreleased die cast. We all know the fiasco with DC Solar. Let me tell you, man, that that that's some history. That is NASCAR history, what happened with DC Solar. I got that die cast, I'm telling you, man, that thing is going to be worth something someday. I believe so. Maybe I'm wrong. Then you got the 2018 Chase Elliott Sun Energy 1 car. And I tell you what, man, that's going to be a cool side-by-side uh, -side comparison opportunity. You know, uh, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Both of these will be reviewed. The Both of the Chase Elliott joints, like I said, already reviewed that. Link down below. But yeah, the 2015 and the 2018. This is, this is not the Watkins Glen version. This is like the Martinsville version. It has the playoff spoilers. I don't like the playoff stuff, but look. I'm collecting the Chase Elliott stuff, so you, you get what I'm trying to say. But that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below. What y'all think about this diecast haul, guys? What do y'all think? You know, I, I like it. You know, it's only three diecasts. But I tell you what, man. These are three really cool diecasts, and I'm, I'm very happy to get them. Also, I have a Michael Waltrip. Yes, Michael Waltrip diecast haul coming in. Um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm talking vintage Michael Waltrip. I'm talking DI Waltrip. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at DieCastBuffet. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. I appreciate it so much, guys, that you're uh, tuning in and watching the videos, man. It just it just means a lot. It really does. I just want to say thank you all so much. And if you want to see even more NASCAR DieCast reviews, I have a whole playlist of them. Like, literally, I have a whole playlist down below. Every single NASCAR diecast I reviewed, I have a whole playlist of that. And I also have a playlist of all the custom diecasts I have reviewed. Uh, most of these were made by me, but some I have bought. Hope you're having a great one. Diecast Buffet, signing off.